Hey guys, right now we're going to go over uh, phase two of my diet. Uh, just to recap, if you go over my first video regarding uh, meal one phases, um, you had a look over my entire meal plan, so my macronutrient profile, and I was at 825 grams of carbs. Um, I was able to milk that and get results for about five weeks, and just last week I made a carb reduction. So I, I skimmed off 50 grams of carbs, or actually take it back, 75. I went from 825 to 750. In doing that, I had a really big change in one week. I can tell my metabolism is fired up. My appetite's ravenous. For 750 grams of carbs, I'm actually hungry each meal, which is ideal. It's the ideal scenario. That's what everyone wants dieting. When your hunger is high, usually means everything's going the right direction. You're craving, you know, food for recovery to fuel yourself. Uh, things are going in the right direction. So, <clears throat> real quick. I shaved off the first uh, 50 grams of carbs actually from meal one. In the first video, my first meal was actually I got up at 6 a.m. to eat or drink 150 grams of carbs from Waxy Maze and 50 grams of protein from Whey Isolate. Now that I'm hungry, I want to eat food. So my first meal now at 6 a.m. is either a very sorry knockoff of Lucky Charms called Marshmallow Mateys or these are actually great. They're Cinnamon Jacks. Um, and the cool thing about these, one cup is 25 grams of carbs. So I went from 150 grams of waxy maize to 100 carbs of cereal. So I have four cups of this in the morning at 6 a.m. And all whites is my milk, which is 100% pasteurized egg whites. Um, basically, one cup is 25 grams of protein. I have two cups with four cups of cereal. Go back to bed, and uh, I wake up, resume my normal pancake meal. Then I eat my, of course, my fish meal and rice twice. And uh, the next reduction came from my intro workout drink. If you recall from the last video, it was a 150 gram carb drink. I reduced the glycofuse, or actually the, uh, the highly branched cyclic dextrin from 150 to 125. So from meal one to the intro workout, that was my 75 gram drop. So now my appetite's ravenous <clears throat> uh, post-workout. I get home after the intro drink. And now I actually, We'll do either an English muffin, which is low fat. This is actually Thomas banana nut bread flavor, very good. Or rice cakes. And I'll actually eat this instead of my other meal, which was uh, game meat and rice. This is just more enjoyable for me. Um, I'll actually slather on some cottage cheese and use uh, these really awesome seasonings. They come in white cheddar, cheesy jalapeno ranch, they're great. So I'll actually spread the cottage cheese over the rice cake and sprinkle ranch or cheddar cheese over the cottage cheese. It tastes great. Um, I'll do the same thing with uh, an English muffin with just the cottage cheese, but obviously not this flavoring. I just don't think it goes good with banana nut bread. <clears throat> That's that. And then um, I'll complement this with a protein drink. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Um, before when I wasn't hungry and I was forcing in the food with liquid, I want to get it over with. Now that I'm hungry, I actually want to savor my, my protein. So I make actually a shake with ice with almond milk. I'll show you kind of what I do. So I use, I still use my whey protein isolate, one scoop of vanilla. And I also use one scoop of native milk protein isolate, which is a slower digesting protein from True Nutrition. Uh, it basically is a thickener. It's a thicker protein. So basically when I blend it up in my Vitamix with ice, it thickens up and it turns into almost like a malt. So then, as you can see, it's thick. And to me, at this point when I'm hungry, it's like a milkshake. So I can actually savor this with my English muffin or my rice cakes, which will be worth about 45 to 50 grams of carbs. After that, now that's my game meat meal, which is the last meal of the night at 1 a.m. It's just elk or kangaroo, or actually sometimes I'll do a fattier fish. And that will be eaten with vegetable, no carbs. So that's basically what I've changed so far. I felt like I've tightened up a lot, actually. And um, I'm going to ride out the 750 until I plateau again. When that'll be, I don't know. I'm going to take pictures, engage uh, progress pictures from the last, and make a decision at that point. So, so far, things are going pretty good. Thanks for tuning in, and talk to you next time.